to God. Welcome to Daily Healing School. Come right on into the studio where you can expect a miracle. Something good is going to happen to you. I am so excited about all of the great mighty wondrous works and miracles that are happening as people's faith is rising, hearing the Word of God every day as the Word becomes flesh and dwells among us. You know, we found in this flow of our teaching, building a foundation for faith and healing, for faith in God's goodness, that it is God's will, that Peter said in his writings, by revelation of a truth I perceive, that God is no respecter of persons. Did you know today there's not any reason that God is finding fault with you to keep you from receiving your healing? You know, the healing is not on His end, trying to get Him to heal you. The healing is on the receiver's end. He's already finished the work. By His stripes, we were healed. And we've got to move over to the place where our heart gets established on the established will of God to heal. And when it does, we'll know that He took our sicknesses. He bore our sicknesses and diseases. And if He took them, that means we don't have them. And if by His stripes we were healed, then we are healed. If we are healed, all that's left for us to do is believe it and receive it. Well, how do we believe it? Well, we believe it by hearing the Word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. One of the critical components of being able to believe or expect we receive is seeing ourselves well. Getting on what I call the it is finished side. Knowing that the work has already been accomplished, that sickness and disease has already been defeated, that we're not waiting on heaven to do something else about us being healed. Heaven is waiting on us to believe His report so we could rise up and grab it and receive our healing. Like the woman with the issue of blood. When she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched the hem of His garment because she said, if I can. She didn't say if He can. If He can just be led this way. If He can just come by my house. If he, she said, if I can. If I can. It's the same thing happened with the, uh, the father who had a boy that was possessed of the devil since a child. He came to Jesus, his disciples, had had nine failures in a row. A lot of people have gone to church and been prayed for, and they're assuming it's not God's will to heal them because I've been prayed for and it didn't happen. But if that were the case, then it would have been God's will for this demon-possessed boy of this father, it, it, it would have been God's will to him to stay demon-possessed because he also had been to Jesus' disciples nine times and no result. Jesus said, ah, faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I have to put up with your unbelief, the perversion of unbelief? Bring him to me. Now Jesus said, He that has seen me has seen the Father. I do that which I see my Father do. I say that which I hear my Father say, I have come to do your will, O God. So which one was the will of God? The disciples of Jesus that all failed, or Jesus that cast the devil out in a minute and the boy was completely healed. Which one was the will of God? Well, clearly the deliverance of the boy and his healing was the will of God, but nine religious attempts at prayer to get healing failed. That must have meant that somehow the connection wasn't made, that it's not religious tradition, that it's not God doing the healing, it's us coming to Him. Remember what He said? He said to the Father, bring Him to me. The disciples said, how come we couldn't cast Him out? He said, because of your unbelief. Now, I know that's blunt, but I'm so glad that Jesus was so loving to us, He told us the truth. Otherwise, we would still be swimming around expecting religious tradition to heal us. But we're not waiting on God to heal us. He already has done His part. He hung on a tree. He took those stripes. He went to hell, defeated the devil, took the keys and rose again. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. He sat down and far beneath His feet is principality, power, might, dominion, every name that is named, not only in this world, but in the world which is to come. And God gave Him to be head to the church, which is His body, the fullness of Him, all in all. Let me tell you right now, you're the body of Christ, and everything that can be named is under the feet 
of the body of Christ. That means in God's mind, diabetes is under your feet. In God's mind, high blood pressure is under your feet. In God's mind, all heart conditions, all asthma, all crippling arthritis, all stage four cancer, all demon-induced disease, all strokes, all result of such things are under our feet. Jesus has already defeated it. What is God waiting on? He's waiting on us to believe that report. Not only in this world, but in the world which is to come. So let me refer then back to the woman with the issue of blood. She didn't say, if Jesus can come and touch me, I'll be healed. If God should lead him to touch me, I'll be healed. She heard, all you got to do is touch him. And when she heard it and heard it and heard it, she kept saying it within herself until she saw herself doing something. And when she saw within herself, if I can, I know if I can, if I can, if I can. See, the father with a demon-possessed boy, and I'm talking about two miracles, one with issue of blood and the father of the demon-possessed boy. One of them is found in Mark 9. It's also found in Matthew 17, the father of the demon-possessed boy. In Mark 9, the father said, Jesus, please help us. If you can do anything, please help us. Why? He had watched the church fail. He had been prayed for nine times and nothing happened, and so he doubted the church not walking in healing power made this man's faith waver because he thought, if Jesus' disciples can't do it, can Jesus do it? And that's why Jesus responded to him when he said, if you can do anything, please help us. There's no if in faith. He said, if you can do anything, please help us. And Jesus immediately responded with a question. He said, if I can, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. That's the purpose of these daily healing schools, to get faith in you, to see yourself the way God sees you, so the unbelief leaves, faith rises, and you can bring your situation to Jesus. He is no respecter of persons. He will not cast you out. There is no reason you won't receive your healing, but the process is getting yourself on the inside to see yourself not as the sick begging God to do something, but as the healed, releasing your faith to receive what's already been done. Because since Satan is defeated, he cannot stop your healing from manifesting. And that's what that woman with issue of blood finally realized. Jesus never rejects anybody even if they're unclean. If I can, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. It turned Jesus around. I mean, the power of God went out of him. It went into her. She knew immediately she was healed. And he didn't say, daughter, my faith. Daughter, I'm Yeshua HaMashiach, my anointing. Daughter, my power. No, he said, power went out of me. And he found who touched him by faith and said, Daughter, your faith has made you whole. Well, I'm telling you, friend, today, if her faith can make her whole, your faith can make you whole. God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. If you will believe the words I'm saying to you today, the good report to the point to where you see yourself well. Now, we're going to have continued sessions talking about how, the how, how, to see yourself well. Well, one of the ways is hearing what the Word says, hearing what Jesus will always do. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that's what happened with that woman with the issue of blood. Twelve years, going to doctors, nothing better, life wasting away, but she heard a report. When she believed the good report, and it got so strong in her that she kept seeing herself touching Him. She kept seeing herself touching Him. When she got the inward vision, that all I've got to do is touch him. Then the moment she touched him, boom, the fireworks went off because her faith touched his power. His power came in her body, and what he had already done in the spirit became manifested in the natural realm. It got transferred. It's the way you got born again. By grace are you saved through faith, and it is not of your works. It's the gift of God. So that means eternal life comes through faith. Guess what? Healing life comes through faith. Won't you release your faith today and say there's no reason I can't be well and start developing the process of seeing yourself completely whole on the inside. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that's all the time I have today. I love you. God bless you. Enjoy daily healing school with you today. Let your faith rise. Rise and be whole. We'll see you tomorrow.